Medfuna is a bread. It's a stuffed loaf. It's a bit like a supercharged Kima naan. Or a calzone. Yeah. But the beauty of this one is it's stuffed with fillet steak and herbs. And as the bread bakes, the meat cooks and all the gravy and the juices go into the bread and it's absolutely brilliant. And do you know what? It's a good one for a picnic as well or to take to a festival yeah. and stuff and whack it up in the morning, take it out. It's brilliant. Ooh, nice cold with a bit of horseradish on the top. Ooh, Ooh can't whack it. Oh, why? Moroccan flour's fantastic. It's real flour. So I'm sieving this. The stuff at home is so processed and so factory-fied, but right. this is the real deal. The nice thing we do with our medfuna is some caraway seeds. It's kind of a bit Polish, but caraway seeds work great with bread. A teaspoon of salt. Bread making's brilliant. It's dead therapeutic. And you know, lots of countries, like Morocco, every morning they bake fresh bread. And for my money, there's nothing better to get up in the morning and knock one up. Or out, as <coughs> the case may be. Bread needs yeast. The Moroccan yeast, it's real yeast. It's a living, breathing organism. Two teaspoons in a glass, a half a teaspoonful of sugar to the yeast. Are you ready? Let's make with the activation. It needs heat to work, so we put in some warm water. Oh, I don't, I'm desperate. <clears throat> Take the yeast, add to the flour, the caraway and the salt. The more you work it, the better it gets. You knead it like this with a heel of your hand. That'll do. Now, put in a bowl, cover and put in a nice airing cupboard until it's doubled in size. Or in our case, we place it on a sand dune, let God do its work, activate the yeast, over to Mr K. OK, for the filling, we have some really good fillet steak. Now, look, it's important that you use fillet, and we've got it chopped nice and fine. Don't mince it, chop it. It's great. It's great, cos you can get all... You can practise your paradiddles on it, you know. And that goes into a bowl. We add some onion, and we add some fresh parsley, and some fresh thyme, and some fresh coriander. Now, leafy celery. It's different here. Celery's cultivated for its leaves, not for the stalky bits that we all eat, isn't it? At home, you can just use a stick of celery in this, and, and we quite like celery, because you get a bit of crunch, a bit of texture. Yeah. Now, some freshly grown pepper, and some salt to taste. It, all of those lovely, lovely fresh herbs, and the salt and the pepper, and all of those flavours need to go right through the meat, so you need to mix it really, really well. Now, you've got two options here. You can do it with a spatula, like I'm going to do, or alternatively, you can get the kids in the kitchen and get them to wash their hands, get their hands right in it, and give it a good squidge about. And, and then phone the decorator. Yes, and then phone the decorator. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is your filling.